tap water and the conditioned water. Let's sit that right there. So does a KDF take out the copper and zinc? Does KDF resin take out the copper and zinc? Yes. Okay. Yes. Because it, all of that will become positively charged. Anything that's dissolved in the water becomes positive. Uh, have you all heard the term hard water before? Yes. Okay. Hard water is all of the dissolved metals, rocks, contaminants that's in the water. The purpose of a water softener is to eliminate the hardness out. So not only does it make the water healthier, but it also makes the water uh, more bearable around the house. Because you think about, like I say, drinking the water, uh, cooking with the water, things like that. But you do other things, as I mentioned. You wash your hair. When you wash your hair, if you don't put conditioner on your hair, your hair gets hard, dry, and brittle because of the contaminants, the metals and rocks that's in there. So now you gotta buy conditioner, put it on your hair to make your hair soft and silky. They make jet dry, which is a sheeting reagent that goes over your dishes because if you wash dishes and don't use jet dry and things like that, then you get spots on the dishes. Those white spots are the dissolved rock and metal. So now you got spotty dishes. Uh, your skin, sometimes it's dry, it's itchy, it's ashy, it's red. That's when you get out the shower or in the tub and now you have to get lotions and skin creams. That's an issue of hard water. When you wash your clothes, I always give people a very simple theory. Hard water makes your clothes dry hard. So therefore you have to buy fabric softener to soften the clothes. But soft water will make the fabrics dry soft. So therefore you don't need fabric softener. Hard water creates hard water spots, scale buildup, residue. And so now you have to go and clean your shower, your tubs, your sinks, your toilets. Soft water, because it removes that stuff, you don't get the ring around the tub and all the mildew and that film on the shower curtain shower glass. So not only is it healthier, but it also gives you a better quality of life. Because the reality is conditioner for your hair is ionized water or conditioned water with some other oils and things like that. But if you already have conditioner, basically conditioned water coming through the shower head, you don't have to buy conditioner. Why doesn't everyone get this service? Like why doesn't everyone automatically get cleaned out water? Like if we pay for water, mm -hmm. uh, like if we pay a water bill, why can't we just get quality water? Well, because, and we'll talk about it, so I'm not rattling on, but it's in the book, I'll show it to you. Uh, when you think, think about it this way, the city has to provide water. You're looking right now, why doesn't the city give you a good quality of water? Well, let's take 100% of the water, right? 90% of your water in the city is going to industrial use. 90% of the water is going to like parks, golf courses, firefighting, you know, shipyards, marinas, mm -hmm. zoos, things like that. 90% of the water. Do you really need pure water, Katrina, to water the high school football field? Mm, I don't know. Do you need pure water to water mm. the golf course? Do you need pure water to fight a fire? Because the same water in the fire hydrant, the same water comes into your home. 10% mm -hmm. comes into your house. A half a percent is consumed. So if you look at all the water that Newport News is producing, only a half a percent is going to be consumed by cooking or drinking. So financially, it's not feasible to give you pure water. Because if they did, then that means all the water's pure. So the fire hydrant across the street, that would have pure water in it. It would help. It would I mean, help then water. maybe we wouldn't have to worry about fertilizers and certain things and weeds or well, bad chemical water. Let's look at it this way. The water treatment facility, there's only one. That water still has to travel underground through plumbing and piping. Five, mm -hmm. 10, 20, 30 miles. Anything can happen between the plant and your house. Mm -hmm. What would happen if on Harpersville Road, there end up being just like a hairline crack in the water line and contamination is seeping in right there. So even if the water was pure at the plant when it left, it may not be pure when it hits your house. Mm -hmm. Or by the time it gets down to Hampton, down to the Peninsula Town Center, because you still have old plumbing, old piping. Sometimes when they build new neighborhoods and they tap into the water line for the houses, sometimes they're in a rush. It's a Friday, they're rushing. They forget to put the cap on the, you know, cap the water lines. Well, guess what happens? Possums, raccoons, snakes fall into the water line and they die. So that bacteria from those dead animals 
are now underground in the streets. That's the things that people don't Salmonella. know. Salmonella. Huh? <laughs> Salmonella from all the snakes and reptiles. <laughs> yeah, all, all type of stuff. So this happens, let's mm -hmm. say, 10 miles from the plant. How are they going to treat the water then? They can't. So what happens is it's more feasible for people to treat the water in their own home. So that's why we do what we do, because it filters it once it gets to your house. Hmm. And it's also more economical, because if you think about it this way, you pay a water bill right now and, you know, taxes. Imagine how much you have to pay if you had to make all the water completely pure for the entire city. Right. Your water bill might be like $500 a month, and you definitely would want to pay $500 a month for water. You're like, I don't even drink that much water. Mm -hmm. You know, because that's a lot of money. So they do what's called the government standards, which we're going to talk about. They just make sure the water meets the government standards. And then if people are interested in, you know, providing a better quality of water for their home, then, of course, you just have to do it yourself, which is why you'll see now that refrigerators come with some type of filtration. And we're going to test that. People buy bottled water. Some people have water delivered to their house, you know, things like that. That's a way to try to give yourself a better quality of water in the home versus trying to pay the city to treat all. And because they put the report in the envelope with your water bill, most people get a bill and only look at the part that you owe. You know, you look at the, the money part. Let me see how much this is. It's too high. You complain. Mm -hmm. Pay it. Throw the rest of the trash. Go on about life. Mm -hmm. Instagram, Facebook, Snap, whatever. You know, <laughs> play some video games. That, that's what people do, everybody. But when you pay that bill, you're acknowledging to the city that you know what's going on with the water. So if anything were to happen and the water was a contributing factor, you wouldn't be able to sue the city. Because they'll say, wait a minute, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Webb, we told you this can happen. You'd be like, no, you didn't. They'd say, yeah, we told you back in October, you paid the bill. Or we told you in November, or whenever it comes out in your city, they would tell you that you, you know. There's someone trying to sue the Isle of Wight now because of the government not fixing piping. Uh -huh. We're lucky here because the city's fixing our piping in the backyard, but uh -huh. um, some cities, um, I guess, aren't wanting to fix the piping or something, and so individuals are having to sue them. It's weird. Yeah, but they, they won't win because of right. the same, because of Can't the same sue the government. <laughs> issue. Yeah, and the same issues and things that I just mentioned. Um, which way is cold, down or back? It's uh, for that way. This is cold? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because what, what they'll argue is that financially it's not feasible to have to replace plumbing and piping because everything we look at, we look at from a humanistic point of view. Hey, I got to drink this water. I got to bathe in this water. My kids are drinking this water. My grandkids are drinking this water or bathing in it. That's how we look at it. They look at it as... We're watering grass with this water. We're fighting fires with this water. We're washing boats down at the marina with this water. You know, this water is being used at the car wash. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how that's how they look at it. So they're basically saying, hey, you know, we don't need to spend millions of dollars to put good water in the fire. You know, that's that's a waste of time, money, and then who's gonna pay for it? Mm -hmm. Because when they put those pipes in, the government's not paying for those pipes. They just charge that to your taxes. Right. You know, and then they want pipes, but then as soon as they everybody's bill is eight hundred dollars a month, then you complain about that. Well, yeah, it's one or the other. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you you want y'all want new pipes? Okay, we're gonna charge you everybody eight hundred dollars mm -hmm. in the city so that we can put new pipes in. But I'm willing to bet if they did that, most people probably wouldn't want new pipes. But you had to. If they say, okay, look, everybody want to get new plumbing, new piping, so everybody's going to have an $800 increase in their taxes. They wouldn't want that. No. Nope. But like you said, Colin, it's one or the other. Either, either you want new pipes or you don't. But the problem is people want a lot of things but don't want to pay for it. Yeah. Well, we have so many people in the country that it's you have to you have to lessen the uh, you know, oh, process. You know? Right. You, there's only, that's the only way to do it, really. Yeah. If we were a smaller country, <laughs> you could probably pull something like that off. Yeah, but here you can't. 
Right. And that's why different cities have, you know, you'll notice different things happen in different cities. Like um, security systems, you know. People ask me about water. I ask them, what about you know, the police do patrol? But you get a security system just in case the police is not riding by when somebody's breaking in your house or breaking mm -hmm. into your car. So mm -hmm. you have to do that extra level of protection even though you are paying taxes to provide for a police force. And it's the same thing with the water. Uh, the water treatment facility does a decent job considering what the water is used for. Now, it's not the best. Um, in 2017, they determined that 90% of the stuff that's found in tap water causes cancer. 44% uh, of diagnosed cancers in America are now coming from people who are using city water. Hmm. But they give you you have the option. You don't have to drink the city water, you can fix it yourself. But they're gonna only give you what they're gonna give you. What I'm doing is I'm taking this washcloth and I'm just saturating it with conditioned water uh, because it, it has been washed with tap water before, right? right? So that's why I had asked that it had been washed before. So I just saturated that there with the conditioned water. So again, that's why we do what we do. We've been very successful at doing business this way. As I mentioned, we've been doing it for the last, well, I've been doing it for 15 years. You know, September was 15 years, so love what I do. All right, again, Colin and Katrina, my name is Elgin, and we're gonna do our first test. It is a test called the precipitation test. So what we do here is we take two samples of water, the tap water and the conditioned water, when we look at them both right now, they look the same. They're both nice and clear. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dye the water first with the yellow dye. What this is going to do is allow us to see with the naked eyes what impurities or contaminants are in the water, if any. We're going to add 15 drops to the tap water first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 12. 13, 14, 15. 15 to the conditioned water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, come on, one more, 15. All right, now that we have dyed the water, we're gonna precipitate the water with the precipitating reagent to impurities or contaminants in the water. 15 drops to the tap water first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now the smoke you see is normal. That's the chemical starting to mix. 15 to the conditioned water. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now that we have precipitated and dyed the water, <clears throat> what we're going to do is beryllium, cadmium, chlorine, copper, cryptosporidium, cyanide, fluoride, Haloacidic acid, lead, mercury, PCBs, which are polychlorinated biphenyls, tetrachlorothylene, and THM, which is trihalomethane. Those are your common contaminants found in your city water. Now, each of these contaminants have health risks associated with them. Things such as liver problems, kidney problems, bone disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, circulatory system problems, central nervous system damage. Everything highlighted in yellow on the pages are all carcinogens. As I mentioned, 90% of the stuff that's found in tap water can cause cancer. 44% of diagnosed cancers are coming from people who utilize city water in the home. The biggest issues are two things, haloacidic acid and trihalomethane. The reason why those are the biggest issues is because, Katrina, those are byproducts of drinking water disinfection. As I said, Colin, when the city gets the water, they chemically treat the water, which means they're pouring chlorine, they're pouring fluoride, they're pouring bromine. All of this stuff is being poured into the water and it mixes together and creates a byproduct. But because the city or the government is putting it in the water, they have deemed that the public health goal is non-applicable. So it says uh, Na, you see right there, Na to the sixth power. So that means there is no specific level or standard that that carcinogen has to meet. It doesn't matter how high it is. So mm -hmm. if you did see your report and you read it, it will say the city of Newport News water meets the government standard. Because if there is no standard, it always meets the standard, right? Mm -hmm. 
In the 15 years that I've been doing it, though, I have yet to talk to anyone, any family that wants contamination in their home. Everybody that I have talked to thus far has preferred that their water be contaminant free. And I'm sure Colin and Katrina, you would prefer contaminant free water. Am I right? Mm -hmm. And if there was a way to have it contaminant free, you would at least want to know about it. Right. Sure. Okay. Uh, are you all familiar with fluoride? I heard, I uh, think you mentioned fluoride in the water. Mm -hmm. uh, are you familiar with it? What do you know about fluoride? Um, I know that it's put in a lot of things that we use, like toothpaste, toothpaste. and you know, mm -hmm. um, you know, you go to the dentist, they give you the fluoride and right. everything, you know. Um, but that's about it. Really. That's about it. Same. She knows a lot. Pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. Okay, uh, but you also know that when you brush your teeth or use mouthwash, you spit it out, right? The reason you spit it out is because fluoride is poison. Sodium fluoride is not meant to be ingested. The FDA says if swallowed, call poison control. Well, if the back of toothpaste says if swallowed, call poison control, why would the city put fluoride in water that you drink? To clean it? Huh? That's what they say. They say it's to clean it. Well, it, it's I so guess. many theories. What they, what they, One of the other things they used to say is people that in poorer areas, areas, they couldn't afford to go to the dentist and stuff like that, that they would fluorinate the water because it would make sure that they had uh, a healthy amount of fluoride for their teeth in poorer areas, is what they said. But still, you're not supposed to swallow it. So what they're finding out now is that children under 12 are getting streak and molded teeth. You see little kids with silver caps mm -hmm. on their teeth because the water has so much fluoride in it. Uh, you don't have any kids, do you? Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, well, when you get to that point of having children, you'll realize, or you may know nieces, nephews, cousins, whatever, little brothers or sisters, kids' toothpaste does not have fluoride in it. Mm -hmm. Children's toothpaste is fluoride-free because little kids will swallow the toothpaste. And you don't want your kid poisoning himself. Mm -hmm. So they make the, uh, the toothpaste fluoride-free. Older people now, or people who are you know trying to live healthy and longer and things of that nature, you might hear people are talking about uh, organic toothpaste, uh, natural toothpaste stuff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hundreds of people got sick, dozen people or so died from the water. They're still fighting it back and forth because of poor quality of water. Uh, when this happened, a professor at Virginia Tech said that the same thing is happening all over the country. They're just sweeping it under the rug. Hmm. You know, like you're in Newport News, you're at Fort Eustis. That's a, a large transportation base for the Army. I came here in the Navy. Norfolk is one of the large, is the largest Navy base in the world. Virginia Beach is a tourist area. It probably wouldn't have, go over too well if you knew you could come on vacation and get cancer. Probably would kill tourism. Hmm. Nobody probably wants to go up to Williamsburg and play golf if they're putting out that while you're here, don't drink water because you could potentially get sick. <laughs> Yeah, that's not a selling point. You know, it's not a selling right. feature. And so that's what the guy was saying. He was basically saying, hey, they use Flint because it's nothing there. There's no industry. There's no vacation. You don't look at Katrina and say, babe, let's take vacation with COVID over. Let's go to Flint. <laughs> <laughs> it might be, let's go to South Beach. Let's go to California. Let's go to Vegas. You know, not Flint. Right. So they just exploited Flint, but it's happening everywhere. Okay. Uh, this was in the Dallas Morning News. In-depth cancer flowing from taps. Drink at your own risk. USA Today, cover story from toilets to tap. As water becomes more precious, more drinking water will come from treated sewage. Here's how it works. So they told America, hey, we're just going to start recycling toilet water. But they put it in USA Today, and in 15 years, I've never seen USA Today in anybody's home. <laughs> <laughs> people do not buy I'm assuming somebody does but people just don't say let me get my USA Today every day and read it but it made the front page so unless you were staying at a hotel at the time or at the doctor's office you probably didn't see USA Today but they told everyone that this is what's about to happen and the reason they're doing it uh, I'm not sure how extensive your home search went but if you looked around the area there are a lot of new neighborhoods being built like here in Newport News. A lot of new neighborhoods being built. A lot of them have been built. So what that means, Colin, is that you have more population, you have more houses, but you still have the same amount of water. So how do you stretch the water? See, in the Navy, we could take seawater and convert it into potable water. We could desalinize the water, get the salt out. The city doesn't have that capability because they do not have proper filtration. 
So they can't use the Atlantic Ocean. They can't use the James River. They have to use that little nasty reservoir by Fort Eustis. You notice it's brown when you go by there? Mm -hmm. That's all the city of Hampton and Newport News is waste. Right outside the gate, when you go over the, yeah. uh, if you look over there, you'll see these big cylinders. Mm -hmm. That's where they're drawing the water. So that's actually where your water's coming from. Oh, okay. Yep. So that's the, you know what I'm I thought it was a corn silo. <laughs> Does it look like like a corn? Yeah, they lay in sideways though. Yeah, when you go over the main bridge, there's only like one way in there. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Yeah, now I'm talking about like when you get off the interstate, like 250B. Yeah. And you come past, it's a water on both sides. Yeah. Okay. If you look to the left, you'll see like what looks like they're metal. They look like silos laying sideways. Right. Okay. That's the water treatment facility for Hampton and Newport News. So that lake, that reservoir. That's where all your water's coming from. That's the water that they use. Okay. okay. I didn't know Usually that. water treatment facilities smelled on like Stewart. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why they smelled bad, but now you know. Because it's toilet water. It's, it's waste. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Makes sense. I mean, I've never seen a good, good smell of sewage. <laughs> <laughs> sewage typically stinks, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's that's why they stink. Mm -hmm. See, that's the correlation. They stink because of sewage. And then they put the chemicals in there and the rock and gravel to uh, take the odor out. And then they send it back to your house. So all they do is recycle wastewater. They Sorry, is there like a history of like this? Like, did Bill Clinton like give some money to them to put some fluoride in the water? Like, is he kind of funding the water treatment? No, no. Because that's the only reason fluoride I fluoride in the water since the, uh, <laughs> it, it's crazy. World War II? Yeah. Because when said... the German scientists came over, they're the ones that started it. Okay. But the crazy thing about that is people wonder why the Jews endure it so much and they're like, well, how did, they, how did they just let them do that stuff? Easy. They were giving them fluoride so it was messing with their brain. It was slowing right. them down. And then the German scientists came here and said, you know, if you put fluoride in the water, it'll help you. Yeah. So we didn't do our research or maybe we did do our research. And well, you know, anything that sounds good sometimes they run with because they did it for years. And that's what the actual, let's see, I don't know if it's in here, because this just talks about how they've been using fluoride for years. Let me see if they copied the back page of this. Yeah, see, this was actually the health journal. It's the truth about fluoride, a washout. Hmm. So they just recently, over the years, started to say, hey, wait a minute. You know, they've been saying all this stuff about fluoride for the years. Let's research it now. And they're finding out it's creating issues and problems. But they've been doing it for years. Mm -hmm. uh, deodorant. You know, deodorant has fluoride in it. And, and so aluminum. they... Huh? And aluminum. Well, fluoride is a byproduct of aluminum. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Sodium fluoride is a byproduct of aluminum. And they don't want you cooking aluminum pots and pans because it causes cancer. Cancer, and that's why they want to remove it out of deodorant because it causes cancer. So that same byproduct of aluminum mm -hmm. is what they put in your tap water. Crazy. Yep. So that's mm -hmm. why, as I said, a lot of people now are using natural toothpaste. They're using toothpaste that does not have fluoride in it. If they use fluoride toothpaste, then maybe just once a month because you don't need it twice a day brushing your teeth. Because by the time you get sixty, you have CRS. No, that. Mm -hmm. Colorectal yeah. surgeon. Yeah, CRS. Yeah. How old are you? Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Twenty-seven. Yeah, think about it. Yeah, it's a lot of fluoride. Tell you what. You said a lot of fluoride. Yeah, CRS. And I'm, I'm forty-eight. CRS is a thing. It stands for can't remember shit. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I got CRS. You know. <laughs> Yeah, so that, that's what happens for years and years and years of exposure to uh, fluoride. Now, this is the chart that I was talking about. It says, why don't the municipalities do a better job of treating the water? Well, here's the chart. 90% of the water is industrial use, 10% residential, half a percent drinking. So with only this amount being consumed, they say it's not financially feasible to make all the water pure for all this <clears> rain. <throat> because like here in Newport News, you have Newport New Shipbuilding, don't really think you need pure water to cool metal mm -hmm. or wash the boat. Just to be a waste of tax money. It's just easier to treat water here at your house than to pay the city to treat all the water. 
Meds lurking drinking water. Have you all heard anything about the medication being found in the tap water? Mm -hmm. You have. Had you heard about it? Um, no. no. I, until you mentioned it. Okay. Yeah. One yes, one no. All right. Uh, well, Colin... Uh, Katrina said she heard about it. This was actually an article from MSNBC News and it covered from the West Coast to the East Coast. They took 41 million samples throughout the country. Every sample showed positive for some type of pharmaceutical mm -hmm. in the water. Uh, the way it gets in there, we talked about earlier, people flushing medication. They don't want you doing that. They want you to take it back to the pharmacy, turn it into the police station, fire department, things like that. But what happens is this article talks about body waste. Because when you take medication, your body absorbs only what it needs and the rest mm -hmm. passes through or comes out in your urine. So what that means is that whatever anybody urinates in the water, it comes back in your tap. They tested the water on the heels of that report in Virginia. It was entitled Pharmaceuticals Found in Virginia Drinking Water. It said they include antibiotics, anticonvulsants, mood stabilizers, and sex hormones, as well as over-the-counter pain medicines. Traces of antidepressants and pain relievers like ibuprofen were found in water in Virginia Beach. Water in Fairfax had traces of multiple antibiotics. Again, it's coming from body waste in mm -hmm. the water. The high levels of sex hormones is estrogen. If you heard anything about estrogen in the water, that comes from the urine of pregnant women and women that take birth control. We're based out of Virginia Beach, but we cover from Elizabeth City to Richmond. The Virginian pilot did an article entitled Drugs and the Drinking Water, because not only are they finding medicine residue, but they're also finding the residue from cocaine, heroin, and meth in tap water. People take drugs, so it's in their waste, and people sell drugs, and they got to get rid of it before the sheriff comes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So True. they're flushing, right? You know, but now that you know, over the last couple of years, they're starting to recycle the wastewater. So that means when they flush We're drugs, all high. Uh, yeah, it, all it, high. It, it goes in there. I don't think it's enough to get high, but the article did say <laughs> that they're finding effects on human cells and wildlife. Hmm. I said, oh, that's why kids can't sit down these days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, 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 down. they have uppers and downers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All at the same time. Go drink some water. <laughs> oh, and it says no standards in place to limit drugs in the water. This was a national scale. Uh, the federal government has not put anything in place that says that the cities have to remove the drug residue. Hmm. So it's not mandated for them to remove it. Uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to test your water for contamination. How this works is we're going to use a chart that was set up by the U.S. Public Health Service. And what it does is it measures the impurities of contamination in your water on a scale called grains per gallon. You'll see annotated there GPG. Now, if you have less than one grain per gallon of zero, you have good water. That's pure water. Now, water problem starts here at one to three. That's called moderately hard water. That means that you are getting some degree of contamination in the water. Now, hard water, which we talked about earlier, is three to seven grains. So that's a serious water problem in the home. That means you're getting a high level of contaminants. Anything over seven will be very hard to extremely hard or a very serious water problem. What we're going to do is we're going to sit this chart here and we're going to start first by testing the tap sodium sulfide. It is a basic buffering reagent that will allow these other two reagents to react. We're going to add five drops of the buffering agent to the tap water. One, two, three, four, five five drops of the red dye indicator. Blue means the water is free of impurities and contamination. Red means impurities and contaminants are present. We'll add five drops, one, two, three, four, five, and you'll notice immediately that the water has turned red. So what this tells us is that you do have impurities and contaminants in your water. Now, when you have these impurities and contaminants, you will know it because you have to do things around the house like clean the tub and the shower because you get soap scum scale buildup. As I mentioned, conditioner for your hair, uh, dryness, itchiness, redness in your skin, spots on dishes, all those are indicators in the home of contamination. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna neutralize the water. Now, each drop of neutralizer is equivalent to one grain of impurities found on the chart and we're gonna add it until we get your water to turn blue. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so your water here in the home is eight grains hard, which means that you have 
very hard very water. hard water or a serious water condition now I'm going to take one of these glasses here and I'm going to get a sample of the water from the refrigerator you can just push can it just, yeah just push, just push it, it. Yep. Okay, all right so what we're doing now is we're getting a sample of the refrigerator water so this is going to represent the drinking and the ice mm -hmm. I'm going to pour this out I'm going to rinse a few times here with the water from the refrigerator filter to make sure we get a good clean and clear sample and we're going to test the refrigerator water we'll add five drops of the buffering agent one two three four five five drops of the red dye indicator blue free of impurities red impurities are present one two three four five and the water from the refrigerator also turned red that is because Colin and Katrina, the refrigerator filter is just a charcoal filter. It is not designed to remove pharmaceuticals. It doesn't take out body waste. It doesn't remove dissolved rock, metal, things like that. That's why you'll notice sometimes you can even see like the water spots, see mm -hmm. that streaking? Because it's not removing the contaminants. You get the little water spots in there as well. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna neutralize the water. Each drop again of neutralizer is a grain of impurities. So let's check the refrigerator water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it is still eight grains hard after the refrigerator. Now, we're gonna take a sample of your tap water. We're gonna excuse me, the bottled water, we're gonna pour this out, down the tap, down the drain. We're gonna rinse with the bottled water. Make sure we get a good, clean and clear sample of the bottled water. And we're going to test the bottled water. We're gonna add <clears throat> five drops of the buffering agent. One, two, three, four, five. Five drops of the red dye indicator. Blue free impurities, red impurities are present. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Hmm. And your bottled water wow. actually turned blue. Good. Now, I will tell you, that is a rarity. And that's literally, that's little water too. Oh, you know what? It's strange, because that's a different. Right, that's not the 365 uh, Whole Foods water. Yeah. I was gonna but say, that's cheap water. I mean, they're both cheap, 365 and Lidl. It's like. Yeah. So that Lidl turned completely blue. Let me get one of these. Mm -hmm. To test this since they're different. Pour this out. Rinse a couple times. Where did the 365 come from? Uh, Whole Foods. Whole Foods. All right. So we're going to sit this right here. And we're gonna test it. Five drops of the buffering agent. One, two, three, four, five. Five drops of the red dye indicator. Blue free of impurities. Red impurities are present. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Hmm. Thanks, Whole Foods. That's really interesting. <laughs> huh? That's really interesting. Well, that's because most bottled water is not pure. Most bottled water. If you took 100% of the bottled waters and test them, only about 5% would show what that legal showed. That's amazing. Yeah. Like the Sani, if you had the Sani, Nestle Pure Life, because I heard you said it's not expensive, it's cheap water, mm -hmm. uh, but it's just the process. Uh, they probably have nothing in here other than reverse osmosis. Yeah, see, they don't have any ingredients in here. Right, no minerals or anything. Yeah, it's nothing. It just says True. purified by reverse osmosis. Yeah. And you see ingredients, purified water. Most mm -hmm. bottled water has calcium chloride, sodium bicarbonate. They mm -hmm. actually have stuff in them, so they're not really yeah. pure water. So if you get the Nestle, the Dasani, the Smart Water, the Evian, you know Fiji, all that type of stuff, I test it. It does this right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you say two bottled waters, one pure, one not. Yeah, mm -hmm. most bottled water is not pure. So let's see how hard it actually is, though. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Nine. That's worse than our top off. Ten. Wow. Eleven. Twelve. So it's about twelve. Hmm. About 12 grains of hardness and contaminants. Wow. So drink the tap water or <laughs> get lethal. No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Uh, now, I'm going to tell you the difference. This is purified water. This is purified through reverse osmosis. So mm -hmm. basically, what they do to purify this is the same system that we put in your house. Okay. So in essence, instead of buying the lethal water, if you were to get a system put in, you have that same quality of water throughout the entire house. So mm -hmm. you'd be drinking, cooking, brushing your teeth, bathing with that same quality of water. Now this, the reason I said, this doesn't mean drink tap water, is because tap water, again, that's recycled wastewater. And then it's chemically treated. It has chlorine, it has fluoride in it. This is really hard because that's well water in a the bottle. They just call it spring water. You know, it's just, mm -hmm. it's play on words. Because people were pro people buy spring water, but they wouldn't buy well water in a bottle. It's like, well, so mm -hmm. tomorrow I'll probably go get some sushi, but I probably wouldn't go there if they said cold raw fish. Mm -hmm. You don't go to a cold raw fish restaurant. Mm -hmm. Just just doesn't sound appetizing. Mm -hmm. Spring water sounds better than well oh, water in a bottle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that's what it is. So that means that it has natural contamination like a lot of rock that means it has a lot of dissolved rock and stuff from the earth but it doesn't have chlorine fluoride and that type of stuff in it. okay so that's why i like the taste of it better but it's true i mean yeah it has natural contamination so it's still contaminated yeah. and you made a good point katrina that's why i said what i said it tastes better because it doesn't have chemicals right don't have urine in it. yeah don't have chlorine in it. So if you taste the two, that's going to taste better. But when you do the analysis to see if it's contaminated, the washing machine will last longer and be more efficient. Your dishwasher, your irons, toilets, hot water heater, everything lasts longer because you're not putting all the rock and chemicals through it. How much energy are you wasting? Well, they did a study at New Mexico State University. They confirmed it by the Tales Columbus Division of Engineers, and it showed that you can reduce your energy bill by as much as 22 to 30% a month by switching from hard water to soft water. Did you know that things like uh, your electric bill, let's say, is affected by your water quality? Not so much. No. Not so much? Okay. Well, let's think about it this way, Colin. Let's say that I took a brick and I put it here on this stove. Then, Katrina, I take a teapot, put the teapot on top of the brick and I turn on the stove. Eventually I can get the teapot to boil, right? Eventually. Yeah. But what do I have to do first? You heat the, the rock. I gotta heat the rock, right? Well, Colin, the rock represents the hardness and contaminants that you see here in this bottle. Mm -hmm. If you remove the brick, it can heat the water faster, right? If you remove the mm -hmm. dissolved rock and metal out, your hot water heater can heat the water faster. So it doesn't have to stay on as long. When you cook, if you cook with pure water, that means it will boil faster. So boiling eggs, making rice, pasta, noodles, spaghetti, it will cook faster. Hmm. So less energy from the stove, because the stove doesn't have to be on the phone. So less energy from the stove, less energy from the hot water heater, equals a 22 to 30% savings off your energy bill. Nice. Because if you think about it, your hot water heater is one thing that's on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Because even though you're not using it right now, guess what? The hot water heater is on. Because it has to heat the water and it has to keep it at a certain temperature. Hmm. If the water was in there, if the water in there was pure, it doesn't have to use as much energy. What we're going to do now, we're going to test the water for chlorine. All right, for the chlorine test, we use a basic pool test kit, which I have right here. All right, and you'll see two to three says ideal. You see that? Mm -hmm. Two to three says ideal. Now I want you to keep in mind that this is a pool test kit. This is used to test pool water. So what we're gonna say, Katrina, is Colin, you and I, we go to the YMCA and we test the pool. It should register two to three parts per million. We're gonna use a chemical reagent known as ortolidine, OTO for short. We're gonna add five drops to the tap water. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna put the top on and give it a few shakes so that it can start to mix. And while we're waiting on this to mix, I won't. This says dangerous side effects. Risks for certain types of cancer are now being associated with the use of chlorinated drinking water. 
the incidence of cancer are 44% higher among those using chlorinated water. There is increased evidence for an association between rectal, colon, and bladder cancer and the consumption of chlorinated water. That came from the President's Council on Environmental Quality. The direct effects are it destroys the vitamin E in the body. That's why you'll notice that lotions and skin creams and hair conditioners all enriched with vitamin E, restores vitamin E. That's because they know that if you're bathing in city water, the chlorine strips that away. It's also toxic to friendly intestinal bacteria, so it kills a lot of the necessary bacteria that your body would need to fight off infection and disease. And it irritates your eyes, your mucous membrane, and your skin. Dry skin, itchy skin, eczema, psoriasis, all that type of stuff is linked to chlorinated water. They did a study and it showed that every 10 to 12 minutes that you're in a warm bath or shower, your body absorbs eight ounces of water. So that means if you come home from work calling and you take a 20 minute shower, your body absorbs about this much water through your pores. Mm -hmm. There was a paper written by Dr. Joseph M. Price. It was entitled Coronaries, Cholesterol, and Chlorine. And in his paper, he says it makes it absolutely clear that the presence of chlorine in water creates heart disease. So now they have linked heart disease to using city water. And then you have chlorine-resistant bacteria. Chlorine does not kill everything. You have a cis-forming protozoa known as cryptosporidium. That comes from the fecal matter and animal waste that's in the water. And if you were to ingest it, it would cause amoeba dysentery, it causes giardia, diarrhea, stomach cramp, and stomach pain, all that nasty type of stuff. Uh, I know you're all just moving in, uh, but do you all have a fish tank or a plan to get a fish tank? Mm -hmm. You do? We have two. We have this 40 gallon and a 10 gallon. Well, I mean, one would actually fish in. Oh, mm -hmm. no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like a fish fish tank with fish in. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, the reason why I asked that question is that fish tank. They have to clean the water for the fish. You take the fish out, you clean the tank out really well, then you put water in. But before they can put the fish in, they have little drops that have to be added to the water. Now the purpose of those drops is to dissipate or remove the chlorine out of the water. Because if you don't take the chlorine out of the water, what do you think will happen to the fish? They'll die. die. They're going to die, right? Because chlorine is designed to kill living organisms. Now, you all are not fish, but you are living organisms. When we look at your chlorine level, you have 2.0, 2.0. And remember, 2.0 is the ideal amount of chlorine. There's not something that's good for your bones and teeth inside your iron or your hot water heater. Mm -hmm. so, so don't mistake when they say it removes everything as taking good stuff out because it's not good stuff mm -hmm. in the water. Just, they just have the same name. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, better health. Of course, you have better health because, you know, we just were talking about that. So by drinking and cooking and bathing with pure water, you know, that promotes better health. One of the things I talk about personally is, as I said, I'm 48 years old. Uh, I go to the VA hospital and they always tell me I'm disgustingly healthy. <laughs> no high cholesterol, no high blood pressure, no diabetes, not a hint of anything. Uh, I have a son, played football, went all the way through college, never had any, uh, any issues. No, never been dehydrated, no broken bones, none of that type of stuff. Always had pure water, never drank city water, anything like that. So we figure that contributes to, you know, better health overall. Uh, savings, you know, uh, I kind of hinted on it a lot of times. Uh, this says eliminate the detergent dilemma. Discover a whole new world of savings. Hard water forces consumers to use more cleaning products, products filled with harsh chemicals. Families spend hundreds, even thousands of dollars per year on products for laundry, household cleaning, and personal grooming. Consumers can typically reduce soap usage by 75% with conditioned water. With conditioned water, you can save money. Not only do you not need the bleach and the fabric softener and dryer sheets or conditioner for your hair, you don't need spot and stain removers, you don't need carpet shampoo, uh, you don't need glass cleaner. Okay? You know, uh, do you all buy glass cleaner? Mm -mm. No, okay. Uh, but they sell glass cleaner because if you try to just use water a lot of times because of the chemicals and, and solids that's in it, it leaves spots and streaks. If you have pure water, you can clean your glass, you can clean your fixtures, things like that. Pretty much your entire house just with pure water and a disinfectant. And the products that you do use, you would use less and they would be more effective. Uh, like I say, use the Castile soap. How much of that would it take to do a full load of laundry? Um, I just do like six squirts, like I wouldn't say more than like two tablespoons. So six squirts, right? Mm -hmm. What if I would tell you that with pure water you can use two squirts? And what you're doing right now to do one um, load of laundry would actually do three loads of laundry. 
Hmm. So you're using less and you're getting better results. Cool. Uh, what we have here, last test, this is a basic biodegradable soap. This is a soap that was found, it's found in nursing homes and hospitals. It's a pure soap. We're going to say each drop of soap is equivalent to $1 of you all's money. We're going to put $2 in the raw hard tap water, one, two. Two dollars in the pure clean condition water. One, two. I'm gonna agitate your water first, as if it were a washing machine. Give a good agitation here. Nothing. Just cloudy water. I'm gonna put eight more dollars in there. That's gonna make it ten dollars total. So we'll go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we have ten dollars. We'll agitate ten dollars like a washing machine. Give a good agitation here. still nothing that's ten dollars now we're gonna put ten more dollars make it twenty one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so now we have twenty dollars worth of soap we'll actually take the twenty dollars like a washing machine and with twenty dollars <coughs> we have bubbles okay now we're gonna do the same thing with the pure clean conditioned water we're gonna start with the two dollars first we'll actually take the two dollars in the conditioned water the same way we agitated 10 in the raw hard tap water. Now, Colin and Katrina, this is what we have with $2 in conditioned water. Hmm. We have just as many bubbles with $2 in the conditioned water hmm. as we had with 20. It costs about $5 a bag. You just fill the tank up with about three to four bags once a year. What that does is create a salt water solution that every few days at midnight will flush into the system, cleaning the resin, removes the impurities, and it flushes the impurities out through a sewage drain. So it's a self-cleaning system. That's why it doesn't have a filter to replace. As an extra level of protection, we put a reverse osmosis system on the sink. So a special tap goes on the left or right side of the sink. You have three filters beneath. Pre-filter membrane, post-filter, and a two-gallon tank. That's what you would use for uh, filling your bottles, uh, making coffee, tea or juices, cooking, because what that'll do is not only get rid of cryptosporidium if it gets in the water, but it'll also remove a little bit of sodium that may be in the water from the system cleaning itself, so you're not cooking with extra sodium. How big is that? It's not big at all. I, I give you, uh, well, there, to give you an example, there's some of our people standing next to it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so, that's so that goes in the garage? Yeah, the garage. Yeah, it's different places. Some people don't have a garage. So uh, mm -hmm. just depending on how the house is configured, uh, it can go in the garage. If you don't have a garage, sometimes they can put it in a closet. If not in a closet, it can go outside. If it goes outside, they provide a little like a, like a Rubbermaid mm -hmm. box, and they put it in the box, and now you just put a lock on it. And it can oh. go like behind the house or side of the house, stuff like that. Okay. But the installers, when they come out and do a survey, they tell you, you know, What's the best course of action for your system? Okay. Is the lifetime warranty covering those filters, or do we have to do those? No, you have to replace the filters. Um, how much are the filters? One eighty nine uh, for the set of three. One eighty nine for the set of three, and they have to be replaced like every three years. So it's not it's not even a. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So it's like every every three years you replace the set. So like one eighty nine every three years for the filters. Cool. For the RO. And as I did mention, the whole system moves with you. So if you mm -hmm. have it here, you can take the system with you anywhere in the continental United States. So it doesn't include Alaska and Hawaii. Hawaii. But yeah. the continental mm -hmm. United States, you can take the system with you anywhere. And it stays under lifetime warranty and guarantee. Uh, it filters on a micron scale at 0. 0.00006 microns. The virus is 0 0.01. Smallest bacteria is 0.1. Nothing can bypass our system to get to the water contaminated. Copy of lifetime warranty that comes out when the system is installed in your home. Make a clean break from hard water. So Colin and Katrina, let's review. Over 70% of our bodies are made up of water. Drinking pure water has memorable health benefits. Use up to 25% less ingredients in preparing coffee, tea, and juices with no funny aftertaste. Save up to 75% on detergents and cleaning supplies. Increase the life expectancy of your water using appliances and plumbing by 30 to 70%. Eliminate buying bottled water, save an average of $25 to $35 a month when compared to the National Average for Bottled Water Delivery Service. Enjoy the benefits of softer hair and skin without the first drying effects of chlorine. That does. What I'm going to do is give you a quick breakdown of what we have and what we offer. 
Uh, the whole house water treatment system is $9,390. To have it installed in your home is $995. Installation is done by our company. We don't subcontract it out, so it's done by certified Maytag technicians. The sales tax of 6% is $574, and what that leaves is a total solution cost of $10,959. Now, of course, Colin and Katrina, we do finance for you, so with 10% down, which is $1,095, leaves a balance of $9,864, and your monthly payment would be $259 per month. Did you understand everything I just covered? Yes. Okay. Now, let's do this. This is one of the things I always do. I take money off the table. So let's take money off the table. Seeing what you see and knowing what you know now, Colin and Katrina, is there any reason not to have clean water in your home? Well, no. I would say I would say that's that's a, a convincing to homes. We have a special program that we offer. It's called our initial savings program. And what that does is that allows homeowners and families to clean up their water through this program and it not cost you anything and not change your budget one penny from how you currently have it set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share this, you know, this program with you all. Now, when I share this program with you all, I need you to make me two promises. The first promise is I need a simple yes or no while I'm in your home this afternoon. Uh, the reason being we're regulated and what they say is what you do for one family, you have to do for all families. So for every family that I've served this week they got their system through the same program everybody at Fort Eustis that moves here and gets their system they get it through the same program everybody in the Navy everybody from Elizabeth City to Richmond gets their system through our special program if you deviated from it let's say you at work one day and somebody said yeah I just got a water system you're like, yeah I got one too you'll have the same price same program everything will be identical because if we don't and somebody were to find out then we can get sued. And being a big company like Maytag, it'll become a class action lawsuit. So we just do everything the same for everybody. That's fair, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the second and most important, if I can't show you how you can have clean water in your home, it doesn't cost you anything, not change your budget, no savings automatically equals no. Is that fair, Colin? Mm -hmm. Fair enough, Katrina? Okay. All right. This is what we do and what we offer to help homeowners to clean up your water. Now, being in the Army, well, that qualifies you for a $500 military discount. So we're going to take $500 off of the cost of the system. So you will be looking at $88.90. With our special program, we will come into your home as soon as tomorrow, install your whole house system for you with the reverse osmosis free. So you have no installation charge. So we have free installation, no sales tax. Because that's going to be waived through the Virginia Clean Water Initiative. We would still finance it for you. But instead of financing it with 10% down, we would do it for you with no money down. So you don't have to give us any money up front. So you have zero down payment. That goes away. That goes away. That $259 a month, that goes away also. To have clean water in your home, Colin and Katrina, you say, yeah, Elgin, we want clean water. They'll come out tomorrow, put your whole house system in, reverse osmosis, and they're out the door. Six months after your system is installed, so April of 2021, you start making your monthly investment, and that would be $89 a month. So there's no money down, $89 a month starting in April of next year, but we don't stop there. We also provide you with all your soaps and cleaning products for your family and your home free for the next five years. So for the next five years, you don't have to purchase anything through any website or any store because we're going to get it free. And one thing I'm sure you would have liked and appreciated about it, Katrina, is that all the products that we provide through the program are all natural and all pure products because they come from a company called 360 Healthy Living. So they have a natural visions line, they have a free and clear line, and they also have an organic line. And you get to select all your products for the home and family free for the next five years. What, what we do in the program is we provide you things such as, and this is the natural vision line, we provide you bath and body gel. Uh, this one is peaches and cream. So you'll be the belle of the band. Peaches oh. and cream. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> they'll be like, they'll be like mm -hmm. That's mm. kind of fruit. Yeah, it smells kind of beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But this one is just peaches and cream. But the good thing about the program is you get to select your own fragrance. 
So this is peaches and cream. We have vanilla, brown sugar, love spell by Victoria's Secret, free and clear. As I say, we have organic. But we also have masculine self color. So we have like sport and sure. essence by it. So yeah, you can get your own masculine self. You know, okay. You don't have to smell like peaches and cream. <laughs> uh, we provide a conditioning shampoo. This is an all-in-one shampoo. It's all natural, all pure. This particular one is made with coconut oil and goat's milk. So you don't have to have a separate shampoo and a separate conditioner. All right, so that's your conditioning shampoo. You utilize the automatic dish washer. So we do provide automatic dish reagent. You can get powder, you can get gel, or you can get tabs, you know, your choice for the dishwasher. This is liquid dish soap for washing dishes by hand. This is a mixture of green tea and thyme. So that's your liquid dish soap. Are these the organic ones? No, these are these are the natural. These are like the sulfate phosphate free ones. Okay. So we have three different lines. This is okay. like the, the sulfate, phosphate free ones. Okay. Uh, and these are all concentrated. So most of these mm. you're just putting like Mix a tablespoon and the bulk of it is water. It's just pure cool. water. So the, that's how these, so these are all water based. So you just put in a little bit in your dispenser and fill it in with water. Cool. Uh, this is a natural laundry soap. This is not detergent. That's why it says laundry soap. So it's a 100% pure soap. It only takes two caps like this to do a full load of laundry. Cool. HE compatible, so it works with high efficiency. Cool. This one is cotton blossom. And like I said, when you go, it's set up online. So when you go online, that's when you select your different, you know, which ones you want. This just kind of give you an example. Uh, this is a bath bar. This is 100% pure oatmeal. You know, oatmeal is good for the skin. It's a natural exfoliant. So you can use it as a bath bar or a facial bar. This is glass cleaner, 64 times concentrated. It's lavender, so you put a little bit in the bottle for the rest of it with water. This is your kitchen and bathroom cleaner for cleaning the kitchen and the bathrooms in your home. This is your multi-purpose cleaner. It's paint grapefruit, citrus earth natural degreaser. A little bit in the bottle for the rest of it with water. What happens is when they bring out the system into uh, to your home to install it, they bring out all the bottles normal size. So you get normal size bottles. They're pre-filled, you just add water. As you need more product, you go online, order what you need. You'll get the one liter bottle and you just fill the bottles to the appropriate line and mm -hmm. add water. Cool. Uh, one liter of multi-purpose cleaner will make 64 32 ounce bottles. One liter of glass cleaner, 64 32 ounce bottles. You get enough laundry soap to do seven full loads of laundry every week for the next five years. The program is actually set up to last a family of four adults in a home for five years. And we give you all of this free with our program. Now, let me ask you this. Do you know why we give you this free? No? Mm -hmm. Colin? Well, think about it this way. Uh, you buy products right now, right? You, I think you say you went on line to mm -hmm. drive and get mm -hmm. drive to put in the dishwasher. Uh, you have your Castile soap to do your laundry, you have soap, you have shampoo, you have conditioner, uh, you're buying bottled water. You probably have some cleaner under the sink to clean the kitchen. Mm -hmm. If I went to your bathroom and looked under your bathroom sink, you probably got some cleaner to clean the bathroom too, right? Mm -hmm. So basically the point is, you're spending money in the home anyway, and the water's bad. Well, if we give you all your products free, and you don't have to buy a product, you can take your money you would spend on product and invest in clean water. Cool. So that's why we say the way it's set up, you're getting clean water and it's not costing you anything. Because now you're not buying bottled water, you're not buying dishwashing liquid, you're not buying laundry products, you don't have to buy soap, you don't have to buy shampoo, cleaners for the house, you don't have to buy anything. So that's, cool. how, okay. that's how our program is set up. And then it also gives you the added benefit because you get clean water and products tomorrow but you don't start making your investment of eighty nine dollars to April of twenty twenty one. And is that APR? Or is that is there like um, the interest? APR on that? interest? Yes, uh, but it's very low. It's nine point nine APR because uh, it's unsecured, so it's not being secured by the system. So it's, if you think about a credit card, a lot of times credit cards are like twenty twenty one percent. This is nine point nine. It's simple interest. Eighty nine is the minimum. If you can afford to pay more, you just pay it off a lot. You know, pay it off a lot quicker. Uh, we set it up automatically, so in April of 2021, it'll just come out automatically. You'll get a statement uh, like next week, and basically, it'll give you your online account, so you can manage your own account, 
see what your payments are, see what your minimum monthly is, you know, if you want to add extra money, stuff like that, tax time or whatever, get a bonus at the job or get a mm -hmm. side gig, mm -hmm. 